Hey everybody, this is Eddie with Mobile Homestead Solar Services. And I'm going to show you the front end of our fifth wheel. This is our electrical compartment. And as our good friend Ray from Love Your RV likes to say, it looks like NASA, but this is actually a series of changes and mistakes that I've, I've made, and I'm hoping I can keep you guys from making them. I wanted to make this video today because I wanted to make sure you guys knew some of the things that make a solar system work and some do, that do not. This one right here is uh, circuit protection. A lot of people don't have enough circuit protection. This is a circuit breaker. There's different styles. This is a catastrophic fuse. There again, there's different styles of those also. Battery switches. This battery switch actually is being used for our converter so that battery charger so that we can run run on either or both of our banks of batteries. We also have two other ones. This one here runs our um, one battery so you can use it on either one of the inverters and then the exact same thing here so you can run either one of the battery banks on either one of the inverters. We've got a 2000 watt inverter pure side and also if I can get to it right up here we have a modified 1500 watt inverter. One thing I found with a lot of these systems whether somebody put them in themselves or they had a professional do it is the um, the wire is not properly sized from the panels down to the controller and also all the other wiring in the the solar system and the battery system and on top of that bad connections and not enough circuit protection I'm going to talk to you real quick about your uh, your connections this right here is one of my grounding connections I like to use this ideal product it's antioxidant it's good stuff some people like to also use OxGuard it's good stuff also personal preference I just tend to like the ideal stuff but that's up to you when I'm done with that joint I like to use this as fluid film that's pretty good stuff you put it on the outside of it. it's good for battery connections too you can also use the red battery spray or the red uh, battery coating but I'm not too wild on it because it dries out and then if you got a nick in your wire so you got one here you can use this brush on a liquid electric tape and it tends to you know seal up that joint so you don't get any corrosion in it I tend to like to take put a little bit of my ideal antioxidant on that when I put it in to the joint before I hammer it and then I'll take and use a piece of shrink tube um, a lot of people use electric tape it's good only problem is, is this will seal it completely and if it has no air in there it won't corrode and corrosion causes resistance and resistance is going to make it make it where you, your solar doesn't work right I've got two different kinds of lugs um, this is just a pure copper lug it's good but you know I tend to like using the nickel plated ones or a tin plated excuse me I like to use the tin plated because they're better um, they don't corrode the better uh, connection. That's what I want to show you guys. I just wanted to give you an idea of what works and what doesn't work. And one of uh, the things I wanted to put out there was uh, is the wiring. It's all your connection. I've seen systems that had uh, high quality equipment and really poor wiring and they didn't work half as good as the ones with uh, with the cheaper equipment and good wiring so make sure if you're doing it you do good wiring and if not uh, you've got someone else doing it for you make sure those people do a good job keep an eye on it make sure all the connections are good and tight and uh, make sure you put some antioxidant on all your joints um, this is Eddie with Mobile Homestead Solar Services you have a nice day